Are you thinking about emailing your professor about a recent grade on your assignment or exam? Maybe you just have questions about a grade in your course, or maybe you've started typing out your email and just don't know what to say or how to say it. Today, I'm sharing a few pointers and four key tips you can use to feel more confident and comfortable contacting your professor to discuss your grade. Stick around. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Your grades are a big deal, right? You work hard for every single mark, so when you get your grades back, it becomes a mad treasure hunt to find those extra marks we think we should have earned. In my years of teaching at the college and university level, I find that students don't talk about their grades with their professor, at least in my experience. In fact, it was the students with good grades that wanted to talk, not the students with the failing grade. Go figure, right? If you have any questions about your grades, don't be afraid to talk to your professor. That's what they're there for. If you want clarification, if you have questions, or simply just want to improve, open up that conversation with them, and you just might be surprised at the advice that they give you. In fact, if you want a few sample templates of what to say in your email to your prof, stick around until the end of this video and I'll share a link so you can download them for free. Tip number one, keep your emotions in check. Before you reach out to your professor about a grade, take a moment to check your own emotions. In other words, check yourself, all right? Are you still angry or upset about your grade? I know there have been plenty of times I felt disappointed and even confused about a grade that I got. I mean, I remember the first assignment that I got back in nursing school. It was a B minus, a B minus, y'all. That had never happened to me before, coming straight out of high school. I was an A student. So if you're still pretty upset or disappointed about your grade, let some time pass so you can think, you can reflect, get into a space where you're able to think logically about your grade and review the feedback that you received. Tip number two, break the ice. Just like any relationship, someone's got to break the ice. And more often than not, it's going to be you. What do I mean by this? Well, you need to take the time to break the ice and get your professor to know who you are. It's much easier to talk about a topic like your grades if your professor can put a face to the name and if they know who you are. If you're enrolled in a large program or a large school, don't assume your professor is going to take the time to get to know you and spend time during class knowing every single student's name. It rarely happens. I mean, in my classes, I really try to make an effort to know the names of each of my students, but sometimes that can be really challenging when you have 100 students in your lecture hall or you're teaching multiple courses in a semester. So whatever you do, don't just be a number. Be sure to establish a rapport with your professor from the jump. So what does this look like? You might ask, well, it's things like participating in class asking questions or engaging in the in-person or the online discussions. You might even stick around before class and after class. And if they're not rushing to start or leave their class, they might even naturally just start a conversation with you and an informal dialogue with you outside of class time, which gives them an opportunity to get to know you a bit more. Tip number three, include an email introduction. Okay, so once you're ready to contact your prof about any grade, make sure you start your email off with an introduction of who you are and what course you're in. Remember, your professors teach multiple courses. So if you send them an email and say, hey, Professor B, can I talk to you about my assignment? Well, first off, I've never had a conversation with you beforehand and it goes without saying that I don't know who you are, okay? 
So what you want to do instead, you might say, Dear Professor V, my name is Sandy Wilson, and I'm in your nursing theory course. I have a question about my care plan assignment. I was hoping to arrange a brief meeting with you to discuss my assignment in more detail. Thank you, Sandy, student number 12345. Now, this is enough detail to include in your introduction and sets the tone for a discussion about your grade with your professor. Tip number four, be professional. Sounds simple, and you might be thinking, duh, of course, but you'd be surprised at the informal emails that I've received from students over the years. Things like, oh, hey, or hi, can you tell me why you gave me a C plus on my assignment? I spent all night working on it. Okay, this is a no-no. You need to pay attention to your written communication, especially when you're emailing your professors. I tell students all the time to think of your professors as a potential employer or a potential reference that you may use or even future colleagues. Therefore, how you conduct yourself as a student must be the same as the way you would conduct yourself in a professional world. Not only does your professionalism need to translate into your in-person interactions with others, but also your verbal and your written communication. So when sending an email, make sure you get these things right. Address your professor with the appropriate prefixes, so professor or doctor, because the last thing you want to do is call your professor something that they're not. And if you're not sure what prefixes to use, look it up in your course syllabus or in your course outline or on your learning management system or even Google it. Now, in my opinion, I think professor is the safest term to, to use, but more likely than not, your professor will correct you if they prefer to be called something else. Also, your email should avoid any jargon or slang or abbreviations that you would use when you're texting somebody. I mean, it's pretty common sense that you're not going to email your professor the same way you would text or email your best friend. Uh, instead, you use correct grammar, correct punctuations, and you're not, you're not going to use, you know, shortened sentences. You are not going to send your email like this. Okay, instead, you will send your emails like this. Another tip to consider in your email is to be brief and concise. Don't go into elaborate detail about what you want to talk about. Keep it short, sweet, to the point. Professors want you to succeed in their course and achieve the best grade you can. Having an open discussion about your progress is not only their job, but it's also part of your learning and evolution as a professional. If you're planning to discuss your grade with your professor and would like to see a few examples of how to do this, then I've got a free email template for you to use. I'd love to share them with you. All you need to do is just click on the link in the description box and we'll email them directly to you for free. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>